Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on what is cPanel and how do I log in. cPanel, also referred to as a control panel, is the website management software that we provide you so that you can manage various aspects of your website. To log into your cPanel, open your internet browser of choice, such as Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, or Google Chrome. In the address bar, type in the name of your domain and then add forward cPanel to it. For example, if your domain name is www.mysite.com, you would get to your cPanel by going to www.mysite.com forward slash cPanel. Then go ahead and put in your username and your password. Now you got that in the email that BrainHost provided to you in that welcome email. You're going to find that right here. Now if you need any help retrieving your username and or password, please contact customer support by calling 1-877-586-4694. You can email support at brainhost.com or you can submit a support ticket at www.brainhost.com forward slash help. Now go ahead and put in your username and password here and press login. Now once you've logged in, you'll be taken to the cPanel administration area. Now cPanel offers a helpful getting started wizard under preferences. Go ahead and click on that and it can give you some information about how to use the system and how it works. So I recommend you look at that first. In cPanel, you can handle many of the administrative tasks for your website. We won't go over the specifics on how to perform any of these tasks in this tutorial, but we will highlight some of the things you can do in cPanel. Change your password. To change your cPanel password, click on the Change Password in the Preferences box. Creating email accounts for your website. To create email accounts for your website, for example, your name at yourwebsite.com, click on Email Accounts in the mailbox right there. Check in your email accounts. To check the email accounts that you created for your website, click on Webmail in the mailbox right there. Installing software on your website. To install software on your website, such as WordPress, Zencart, or Drupal, what you're going to do is scroll down over here to Software and Services, and you're going to click on Fantastico Deluxe. Adding a subdomain to your website. To add a subdomain to your website, click on Subdomains under the Domain section right there. Backing up your website. To back up your website, you're going to go ahead and scroll on up here to Files, and you're going to click on Backup Wizard. Uploading and managing your website files. To upload new files to your website or manage the files that are already there, click on Legacy File Manager right there. Now please note, do not delete any files unless you know exactly what they are. Deleting important files by mistake can break your website. Now these are just some of the many things you can do in cPanel. Spend some time exploring your cPanel and learning the various ways that you can manage your website. If you have any questions or need any additional help, please feel free to contact us at Customer Service Support. And that concludes our tutorial on what is cPanel and how do I log in.